This is Joy Paris with BritishGirlNetwork.tv here tonight for a wonderful cause, the John Wayne Cancer Institute. We're here at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel in Beverly Hills. So this is a really exciting evening for us. So the John Wayne Cancer Institute Auxiliary is a, is a group of women who work tirelessly to put this one event on every year. They do have a luncheon, but this is the big event. So when this event is over tonight, they'll start tomorrow on next year's event. I mean, they work tirelessly hard. And they get all these women to come and bring their husbands and come and have a wonderful evening. We honor some wonderful people. Our two honorees tonight are such wonderful people. I'm so thrilled to have it. And we hope the people are inspired to, I hope we can capture their imagination with the good work that we do and have them continue to support our good work. You know, we're doing great work out there. We've got international recognition. We're doing research that's on the leading edge. We're treating people now. We're treating some diseases they're like treating diabetes or something. People have quality of life, you know, they're not even ill. So anyway, we're finding out wonderful things. We have great hopes for the future, but we need support. We need, we need money and it's very hard. I, you know, everybody's cause is wonderful and you know, they all deserve support. I just, I just, everybody's touched by cancer and let's, let's find a cure for this disease. I'm humbled to be here. It's a wonderful event. It's raising money for the John Wayne Cancer Institute, for the family to acknowledge me for something that I feel uh, privileged to be able to do is a great, it's a great, it's a great thing. I'm, gl I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Uh, we, can, uh, we can never do enough to help others, but we can always try to do a little bit more. Um, just help your neighbor, help your friend, help your community, help your city, help your town, help your state, help your country. Thank you so much, Gary. Congratulations. Well, um, you know, the John Wayne Cancer Institute is part of uh, St. John's Hospital. All four of our boys were born there. And Gary's niece is a very dear friend. So anytime anyone calls us for Gary, we're there. But my, my mom is battling cancer even as we speak. So it's very close to home. Yeah. All the work that they're doing is very important. It's a huge deal for me to be here tonight because I have some friends that have parents that are fighting cancer right now. And so it's you know, a very special thing that I'm actually able to be the violinist for tonight as opposed to anybody else in the world that they could have gotten. They chose me and so I feel like, you know, it's definitely up to me to do my part to share in this experience and make it larger than life so that, you know, everybody donates a whole lot of money so that we can like, you know, I don't know if we're going to find a cure or whatever it is, whatever they use to, you know, support, uh, use the money to support, you know, we're going to try to raise more money tonight. <laughs> uh, actually, the theme for tonight is Heroes, and so I'm actually playing Heroes by David Bowie. And so it's going to be my own rendition, though, so you know, don't get it twisted. It's still going to be so violinist style, but, you know. <laughs> my name is Anita LaCava Swift. I'm the president of the John Wayne Cancer Institute Auxiliary, and tonight is our big event where we, we raise most of the money uh, that we give to the John Wayne Cancer Institute Auxiliary. And that money goes directly to the John Wayne Cancer Institute, where our doctors do the research that, and where we, edu where we educate the people and where they educate the doctors who do um, the uh, surgery and um, the fellows that do um, s surgery. We educate. Um, doctors that have already gone to school and they come to us and we teach them surgical oncology. They can, they can go to www.jwci.org 
and find out all about the many different events that we have during the year. We have educational events and we have other fundraisers that they can come to. Um, our honoree Maggie Denomi puts on an event every two years with Pink that's amazing and lots of fun events that people can come to. Oh, I'm very passionate about being here tonight and I'm honored to be here tonight. I'm honored that they asked me to come back and host for the second year in a row and uh, because this event is amazing. I mean it's truly amazing what this organization is doing. Um, it's truly amazing the people that are involved and so for me just to you know, try to help keep the energy up and try to tell, you know, introduce people and honor people. I mean, hey, that's the least I can do. So I'm excited. I, I may have some jokes. I may have some jokes. Uh, yeah, yeah, everything I do is solo. You know, I just come up with myself. You know, but, but what it does, it leaves me kind of in the space of like, they might work, they might not work. But I, I think I have a couple of them up, up my sleeve. Well, I think a lot of times people, when they think of charity, you know, they want to help, but I think immediately where their mindset goes to is that, you know, I don't have a million dollars to give. And it's like, you know, you don't have to have a million dollars. You can give five dollars. And if you have everybody in, in a certain zip code in the United States give five dollars, imagine the impact that you can actually have and you're a part of that. So it's not so necess necessarily like you have to give six figures or more or you're you know, build out a second uh, mortgage on your home to, in order to make a contribution. You can give five dollars. You can give time. Some some of you are survivors. You can share your story with other survivors, with other people that are going through it. So there's a lot of things that people can contribute. But um, unfortunately, sometimes when they think of charity, they kind of have a tendency to avoid it because they think that they're going to be asked of too much, too much outside of their reach. Yeah, we all have a lot to give.